is sales like dating? Yeah, very much so actually. In a lot of my sales trainings, I usually make the analogy that if you're in a dating scenario, it's similar to this specific sales scenario. And one of my students recently told me that I should be writing a book about this because not only is it entertaining, but it's so true. So there's a lot of ways that dating and sales are very similar in concept and execution. And in this video, I'm just gonna give you a handful of reasons how they're the same. And so whether you wanna be good at sales or whether you wanna up your dating game, this is a good video for you to watch. The first way that dating and sales are pretty much identical is that if you talk too much in the beginning of your prospecting cycle or in a dating world, if you just met somebody and maybe on your first date, you talk way too much, you have a very high chance of completely losing that prospect. And the simple reason behind it is that what you've done is you've essentially overwhelmed them with information. And nobody really wants to be overwhelmed with information, right? It's like the cliche, less is more. It really is in not only sales and dating, but in all parts of life. What you really wanna do is you wanna give them just a little bit of information, get them interested, let them start asking you questions, and have kind of an equal exchange, if you will, of information. It really shouldn't be you just vomiting information all over them because that can actually make very simple things seem complicated, including you. The second way that dating and sales are very similar is that if you start contacting the prospect way too frequently, the message that the prospect is going to get from you is that you are not busy, you are not in demand, and you appear kind of desperate. Now in both scenarios, sales and dating, do you want to be with somebody or work with somebody or sign up with somebody that appears to be desperate? Now, of course, keep in mind, in both scenarios, at no point are you gonna say, I'm desperate but just the sheer fact that you're contacting somebody so many times, so on a subconscious level, that prospect will absolutely feel and kind of know that you are desperate. And nobody really wants to buy or date somebody that's desperate. Well, not many people anyway. The third way that dating and sales are very similar, this kind of goes with number two, but it's a little bit different, is that if you are always accessible. So if you've ever read any dating books or the good ones anyway, you will be familiar with this concept. And that is, if you are easily accessible all the time, that is actually an unattractive quality in the dating world and surprisingly in the sales world. And here's why. When you're always accessible, yes, does it show you're reliable and you're available? Yeah. And are these necessarily bad things? No. But the problem with being always very accessible is that it sends a message to your subconscious mind or the prospect's subconscious mind that you are not in demand elsewhere. And I'm not saying ignore when your prospect calls. I'm not saying just disappear for days on end or weeks. But what I am saying is, I mean, don't answer the phone after the first ring all the time. Don't be afraid to not answer the phone at all and maybe call them back in a half an hour or um, send them a message and say, I'll call you back later. I'm, I'm in another meeting. Anything to show them that you are actually in demand elsewhere and that not only do you respect them and you respect their time and you are looking forward to working with them or being with them but 
that doesn't mean that they are the only thing happening in your life. The fourth way that sales and dating are very, very similar is if you linger too much, especially during a time when the, let's say the phone call or the meeting that you're having was unplanned, that also shows that you are desperate, not in demand, you don't have anything else going on. And all of these traits are highly unattractive in all scenarios, whether it's dating or sales. Nobody really wants to be with somebody that's just, again, they have nothing else going on. And if you randomly bump into them, they're happy to sit down with you for hours on end. I mean, that just, it's just not attractive psychologically, is it? And the fifth way that dating and sales are very similar is that if you leave early, and I don't mean like be weird about things and just pick up and leave, you know, the meeting abruptly or hang up <laughs> in their face. But what I mean is you're not lingering, you're not taking too long, you're kind of getting to the point. If you're short and sweet and to the point and you leave early, which is something I talk about in one of my old videos, uh, it's called how to be interesting. You can check that out here. But if you can make a habit of leaving early, what that will say to the subconscious mind of your prospect is that you're a little bit mysterious and you're interesting. And these are very attractive qualities in dating and in sales, because this makes a prospect that much more interested in you and it makes them look forward to speaking or hearing from you in the future. And in sales, if you have any kind of issues with follow-up, this is one of the best tactics that you can use to get people to respond to you, is always make a habit of just leaving early or not lingering, however you wanna look at it. Because it just creates that impression of you that you have a lot of things going on you're not going to sit there for hours you're busy you're in demand and it makes people look forward to speaking with you next time try it so the moral of these tips is that if you want to start dating somebody and have them really be into you or if you want to get a prospect really interested in working with you don't linger don't be so accessible. Don't always be around. Don't take too long. Basically, just don't be yourself is what I'm saying. Just be the opposite of, of yourself. Everything that you intuitively want to do, just don't do that. How easy is that? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want me to do more videos like this, because I only gave you five ways that sales and dating are alike but there's a lot more ways that they're similar let me know in the comments below and i would highly recommend that you sign up for the sales society because i'm going to be releasing a course a full course no joke on how sales and dating are very similar so as part of sales society right now the price is very very reasonable and once you get started with that, it's $24 a month, you're actually, you continue with that, regardless if the price goes up for new joiners later and you get access to all of the courses. So share this with somebody that's either trying to uh, date somebody and they're not getting the response that they want or somebody that's trying to close a deal and they're not getting the response that they want. See you in the next video.